My name is Maya, Maya Lee. I'm the daughter of Magda Hellinger Blau. Magda Hellinger was a survivor of Auschwitz. And in her time in Auschwitz, she was known by her number as 2318. But to some of the SS guards and commanders, she was known as Magda or Hellinger. Magda was born in Michalovce in Slovakia in 1916. She was one of five children, the only daughter of Ignaz and Berta Hellinger. As a young girl, she was very involved with Hashomer Atzair, a Zionist movement in Michalovce, and she was very much in the leadership of that group. She enjoyed it. She enjoyed happy family home with support of her parents with whatever she did. Mum's book is unique and different to every other Holocaust book because Mum's role in Auschwitz as a functionary, prisoner functionary, a woman in position. Nobody knows about Stubendeist, Stuben Alteste, Block Alteste, Lager Alteste. Nobody knows about those things. And they were roles which Mum had throughout her time, on and off, throughout her time in Auschwitz. And that is something unique. And in that role, she was able to use and manipulate situations. Let me read you this little one. The more I had the chance to observe the prominent SS people like Edward Wirth, Joseph Kramer and Irma Grazer, the more I understood that despite their, despite their murderous practices, they were still human beings. I don't say this to excuse their actions in any way or to suggest that I like any of these people or even for one second. On the contrary, Realising that they were humans helped me understand that they had human needs and vulnerabilities. And this created opportunities. People like myself and Vera Fischer, people who had arrived in Auschwitz on the first transports, learned to talk back to the SS if we were careful and chose our times. There was always fear. Any of them could at any time have us killed or kill us themselves. But if we maintained respect, avoided even telling them what to do and acted with the right amount of chutzpah, there was always ways we could manipulate them. My mother's purpose for writing her book was she wanted the world to know what hatred can do and hoping that the world will learn and people will learn that hatred is not the way to move forward. And that's what she really wanted. And as well, she also wanted acknowledgement of what she did. She was not a collaborator. She just was a woman who was able to use her skills, her leadership skills and kindergarten skills in a place which was hell on earth. Uh, in June 2006, I, my mother by this stage was in a nursing home and I went to visit her on that particular day, I think it was 28th of June, and after visiting her that I was very sad, quite melancholy. And when I came home at night, I decided to put my mother's name into Google and all of a sudden I saw lots and lots of Magda Blouse on the screen. And I looked at them and now none of them were relevant, none of them were relevant, and I scrolled a bit further. I don't even know what maybe even go further beyond the page. And there, lo and behold, I see Deborah Fisher on Magda Blau wears the tattoo number 2318 of a survivor she never met. Now, that gave me goosebumps. Her father was a survivor of Auschwitz also. But being Hungarian, they were deported much later, in 1944. And by then, they were not being tattooed anymore. So after that, she decided she wanted to know more about Auschwitz, the war, and she, she decided to go to the Washington Holocaust Museum and ask to hear testimony, video testimony of a woman survivor. And they presented her with a video to go and listen, and the video was of Magda Hellinger Blau. She listened to that testimony to the end, and she was just overwhelmed by my mother's story 
her way of surviving, her way of coping. And how at the end of the video she says, my name was 2318 and for three and a half years they had taken away my identity. I want the world to know that this happened to me and thousands of other Jewish women and I don't want the world to forget. And with that resonated with Deborah and she decided how can she possibly tell the story of Magda Blau and after much deliberation she decided to have 2318 tattooed on her arm. And that following November 2006 we were going to be in Detroit for a family event and we, I decided to go to New York and meet Deborah Fisher and she had arranged to meet me at the radio station, National Public Radio, and meet there for the first time and see that tattoo for the first time. And that was recorded, obviously, and I think National Public Radio has uh, this, uh, listeners of 12 million people throughout America, so that went all over America. So that particular interview was picked up by a guy called Peter Applebaum from the New York Times, and he wrote a feature about that as well. Because I thought it was so important for my mother, for her memory, to tell her story in the way it should have been done because her story, which she wrote herself, did not do her service. She left out so much detail which highlighted the incredible tenacity and ability she had in Auschwitz. And that's what I wanted to do and that was the purpose of this journey. <laughs> 